Get five coffins ready. Hey, what's going on everybody? Shinmo here, and uh, today I just wanted to give a quick talk about uh, Oplush. You know, what I think could be done to improve them, basically. So, I uh, made the video about Chalk, because I put Chalk in the same tier as Oplush. You know, maybe I was wrong about that after I played him in a couple matches, you know. But I think everyone agrees Oplush, probably the worst god in the game. Um, and I wanted to talk about, you know, what, what can be changed about him to make him better. Because I already talked about what... Um, could be done about uh, chalk right giving him a new passive i was thinking you know maybe after five auto attacks um you know successful auto attacks whatever his next ability stuns or something like that anything other than the doesn't cost me anything that that's stupid let's talk about Aplash. so uh what, what exactly is wrong with dr Plush here so first and foremost he has no mobility right like like an anubis or a zeus but okay so zeus has tracking damage like you know with the chains the chain uh, lightning his tracking damage and it has like um unavoidable uh, undodgeable damage basically right so like uh, the de i'm referring to the detonate and the chain lightning right the only way you avoid chain lightning is if you do movement ability away from it basically right and then um if it does hit you well it's stuck on you now and you have to eat the detonate if you hit with the uh any any part of the ultimate you're gonna get a detonate stack on you and then anubis obviously he just powers through um all the damage that get that gets dealt to him by just dealing the most damage in the game and then having a bunch of lifestyle on top of it again both are very much beatable zeus and anubis are i mean they, they've been some of the weaker mages for the past couple of years you know with every mage that gets released they seem to be worse and worse essentially but aplosh is them those mages are already bad, right? But Oplush is a more toned down version of them, which of course makes no sense because they're the most volatile type of mages, right? Insane amount of damage, but no mobility, right? Very class candidate in that in that regard. So with Oplush, okay, he do, he does that. And you can also three. I don't know why I put this on. Oh, because I wanted to show the uh, hitbox. Yeah, I don't do it for all of them. So say basic combos like that, right? That's okay. I mean, the amount of time it takes to do. Probably about the same as a uh, Zeus 2-1, right? Not the end of the world. But the problem is this ability. I think the, t the 3 and the 2, it's okay. I, I have an idea for the 2, but we'll get to that later. Look at this horrible ability. This is just the worst ability I've ever seen. Like, it's a super wide line attack like this because it sh shoots the two corpses out, right? That's why it does that. Why it, why it has to be so wide. And then it has a uh, AoE area when it, when, it, when it collides with someone or... Uh, oh, a wall. Yeah, so you can see I just grazed the wall and immediately the hitbox has changed. All you have to do is graze the wall slightly and the hitbox is completely changed. This needs to be completely reworked as an ability. It can still two sh shoot... It can still shoot two corpses out. It can still slow, but this needs to be reworked completely. I think this is the absolute worst part of his uh, his kit. And uh, my friend actually had an idea um, to basically combine his one and his two and just make it separate. So basically, once this shoots out, give this a, a thinner hitbox and make the AOE the same, right? Make it say like a like a Zeus uh, like a Zeus chain lightning type of narrow path, but still the same speed and. Uh, and range, right? Or like a Tsukiyomi ult type thing. Like that sort of hitbox. Obviously not functioning the same. Functions the same way, just has that hitbox so it doesn't get stuck on walls like this. Um, but then, like, it just detonates immediately. It starts detonating immediately, so you still have time to put a 3 down. And then it detonates. And then just completely um, replace his 1 or his 2. You could put the 2 and the 1 together in the 1 slot, or the 2 and the 1 together in the 2 slot. Basically. And then just give him a completely different third ability, maybe something that gives him movement speed, because then he would have, his damage would be just fine, because we combine all the damage and everything these two do to, together, because honestly, that's fine. That could be one ability. It's at it's to the point now, like, look, look at some of the mages that are in the game. That's totally fine. The damage that that, that does is completely fair. But yeah, so th that's, that's totally fine to be part of one ability. And so then what I was thinking... Because um, he, he needs some sort of movement ability if if that's if he only has hard CC on a uh, very conditional um, definitely not going to get it every time on his three you know the the, the stun on his three it's not going to come out every time so if he has no hard CC and um, he almost has to buy gem to try and peel for himself and to try and be relevant in fights um, he pretty much needs to so if that's going to be the case he needs some sort of movement ability. So what I was thinking is something similar to Kakulkin 2 or Old Zeus 2. But instead how it works is um, you can like say place down your 3. 
because the three will be the same. Or you do your two, or sorry, your one, and then you do your new two. And I, what I was thinking is just it gives him, it cleanses all the, he sucks up all the corpses that are um, on the ground total, right? And then, well, maybe it would have to be in an AoE around him because you could just like place someone to your base or something. Okay, so yeah, say it's like a... Um, an area around you, say, within 55 units. So say like there. You suck up all the corpses around you and you gain a move speed boost and you heal yourself. Right? Maybe not for the full amount because you actually heal a lot for this. Uh, I don't think there's a quick way to show you. But yeah, you really you heal a ton off of, uh, off of your corpses. So say you just like throw out your one and two immediately run away. Something like that. I'd, I'm not a game designer, right? So I don't know if that would be great. But it would be a star. He definitely needs some sort of movement. Uh, or maybe on his passive as well. Like he gains move speed for every uh, every corpse he has on the ground. I mean, the thing is, he is insanely annoying in um, in arena, and he's decent in clash as well. Just for his uh, pure defense and offense in clash, is really solid. He's okay in siege too, but the rums and siege are kind of rums and siege kind of kill him. But still, he's really good in those game modes. But then in conquest, he's just terrible. So how do you make make him not terrifying in other game modes? But better in Conquest too, because I think he, the, his core design philosophies are kind of flawed at this point. It's been so long since he came out that like he needs like a major rework to be top tier type of thing. But I do think just combining his two and his one into one ability, so it detonates uh, pretty uh, starts detonating immediately upon impact, but you still have time to throw out your three as well to add that to, the, to your combo damage. Uh, and then make his two some sort of movement ability. Maybe it doesn't have to be, maybe it's just a movement ability. You know, he just, he cleanses all slows on him and moves faster for a little while. It doesn't have to be the whole suck up the corpses thing, even though I think that's really cool. I think that's a really neat way of doing it. And maybe additionally, when he picks up corpses, he gains a little bit of move speed too, because that's a really good, um, like I actually, I really like Opwash, even though I've been like shitting on him all video. I really like this character. And one of the really cool outplay things you could do while you have an assassin on you is, of course, you know, slow them with the one and then throw down your two, um, throw down your three and get a little bit of, of uh, life back and things like that, right? So there's a little, little cool things you could do. And that's sort of, um, if you gain move speed for every corpse you pick up, it sort of adds to what he's already doing, you know what I mean? It doesn't completely change his game plan like uh, <clears throat> the Loki rework. So, uh, but yeah, and then I think the ult is fine. The ult is fine. I don't think you should touch that. It shouldn't have a slow on it because you want to go jam on Opwash in most situations anyways. So I think anything, putting another slow on top of that would just be unfair. But what do you guys think? Do you think Opwash is okay as he is because he's good in other casual game modes? Uh, do you like my idea for how to fix him? Uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching.